The bioplastics market at the moment is somewhat stagnant. It grew significantly using mainly starch-based materials uh, for thin film applications such as bags. But the, the growth into higher end applications requires improved performance in the chemicals that are used. Bioplastics are also two to four times more expensive than conventional plastics. Until that changes, until those two things change, we're never going to be able to replace the conventional plastics that we've grown to know and love over the past 60 years. Mind Bioplastics is leading a consortium uh, with the Warwick Centre for Industrial Biotechnology and Biorefining and supported by the Technology Strategy Board to extract high performance chemicals from lignin uh, for use in bioplastics. Lignin is the second most abundant organic polymer on earth. So along with cellulose it makes up plant cell walls so it's found in the cell walls of, of regular ornamental plants but it's also found a very similar material found in wood it's also produced industrially, so it's produced from the pulp paper industry as a byproduct, uh, and increasingly it's produced from the biofuel industry. So there's large amounts of lignin around the world that people would very much like to convert into renewable chemicals, but that's very hard to do. And the few chemical methods that people have developed, people have been trying to do this for 30 or 40 years, a few methods that are available tend to produce rather complex mixtures of products. So what we've found here at the Warwick Centre for Industrial Biotechnology over the last five or six years, we've discovered some lignin degrading bacteria from soil samples um, and we've been studying the enzymes and the breakdown pathways for lignin. So if we could use molecular biology to uh, interrupt one of those pathways, then we could accumulate uh, a useful compound which you could then convert into, for example, bioplastics. So over the last year, we've had a one-year feasibility study funded by the Technology Strategy Board with Bio and Bioplastics, where we've been trying to use this approach to generate four target compounds. And we've been really excited that we've observed three of those compounds, uh, which have never been seen before from lignin. Bio and Bioplastics' aim with this sort of research is to produce new bioplastics which can compete with conventional oil-based plastics. It will improve the performance of the bioplastics that we can manufacture, uh, reduce the cost and will subsequently replace, I believe, most of the plastics that are currently made from oil-based means.